So hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So this evening I'm just heading up to a, a farmer's field, a friend of mine, that's basically, it's an old crop in there that's now pretty much mud. And there's lots of earthworms, as many of you know, birds of prey at this time of the year, food source being a bit limited, will use fields to extract worms. And in this particular field there's I've counted up to eight buzzards in there. Unbelievable. So uh, I'm gonna head out there now, set up the hide, and then hopefully tomorrow morning, I'll get in there early before the, uh, before the sun comes up, get in there, get set up, and hopefully then the uh, buzzards will come in and start to feed up, all being well. So yeah, it's worth a go. I've got my really old hide here, uh, my old two-man integral chair hide. It's sort of hide I still use um, when I want to leave it out somewhere that I can't monitor it because this hide is pretty beaten up and pretty old and I don't want to use any of my new tragopan hides um, a bit too good really to leave to leave out in the open like that um, in case someone does pinch it so I'm gonna head there now get it set up uh, all being well tomorrow morning we'll get in the hide and hopefully get some great shots of some buzzards. All being well. I've actually now currently got nine buzzards in here. Absolutely phenomenal. They love this field. They keep, they've moved off a little. One, two, three. Yeah, there's at least nine or 10. It's absolutely incredible. They don't like it that I'm um, here at the minute, but I'm hoping tomorrow morning, trouble is now setting up the hide. They're going to see me set up the hide, which is not ideal. So uh, yeah, they're watching all around. Some of them have taken off now and they've gone up along their hedge line onto the, onto the bushes at the back. So they're going to have eyes on me straight away. So just going to have to get in there and see what we can do. So this field is pretty, pretty boggy which is never ideal, but uh, especially photogenically as well. As you can see, the ground is uh, very muddy, not a lot of an area to, to really um, bring an image to life, unfortunately, but this bit is a little bit better here. It's a bit more grass, but it's not ideal. But still, you know, nine, 10 buzzers now I've counted and they're all here in one place and it'll be great just to get some pictures of them really just to see what they're up to because the food is a little bit more scarce at this time of the year they're probably squabbling over food as well so dominant buzzards and stuff so it'd be nice to see a bit of interaction there as well with the birds hopefully all being well yeah some of the buzzards are quite tame we've got one you can't see it with the GoPro really, but it's looking at me there, checking the dogs out too. Dogs! Yeah! There's one taking flight, two, so three, four, there's at least four there still. Yeah, it's a cracking evening. Now it's got to decide where to put the hide now. So the hide is all set up now, ready to go for tomorrow morning. So ideally, I really ought to leave the hide there for a, a fair while, um, just for the buzzers to get habituated with something new in their area. But I uh, haven't really got the time. And to be honest, I'm just gonna give it a crack tomorrow and see what happens. Hopefully we'll be successful. Uh, the farmer said I can leave it there for two or three days, but the thing is he's got more cattle coming in. So I haven't really got an awful lot of time there. So uh, yeah, we'll um, hope for the best. Hopefully tonight we'll go back in the field now. We'll get a little bit used to it, probably be a little bit hesitant. And by tomorrow morning, hopefully they'll just crack on. So uh, fingers crossed guys, we'll see you for a, a buzzard session tomorrow morning. So morning guys, it's now just after seven and I'm heading out 
across the fields to the hide. Um, it's no wind this morning. It's minus five. So really hoping the buzzers are hungry and they get in early. But uh, yeah, cracking morning for it. Absolutely superb. We just need a few birds now. So I've got no idea if you can see me or not. Um, we've already got three buzzards in at the moment, um, flying around and seem quite happy. They only just timed it right to, to get in here before they all arrived. And yeah, they're flying all over the place at the minute. Um, don't know which way to look, but they're everywhere. They're doing a bit of um, Stamping the ground to get the worms up because the ground's solid. So the buzzards are here, the buzzards are here. There's at least seven buzzards. I've got one right in front of the camera about 12 o'clock. I've got one about 9 o'clock, one about 3 o'clock, and there's loads further off the ground. There's loads of red wings as well in front, and obviously ravens there. Absolutely alive with birds here this morning. Such a beautiful place here. We seem quite static in there. Positioning at the moment. Lovely raven broken away there. And um, hoping they're going to start to feed up when the ground moistens up a bit because it's frozen solid. At the moment. And then once it starts to the sunlight comes across and hopefully we'll be able to uh, see them doing a bit of feeding and maybe a bit of interaction amongst themselves a bit more. So the sun's fully up now, and uh, we've got 10 buzzards in the field at the moment. Um, the closest one's about, I don't know, 40, 5, 50 feet away. It's amazing how many uh, varying plumages they've got. We've got some really white, light ones. This chap in front here on the left. It's really dark. Beautiful. So far we've got uh, 11 buzzards now. And uh, my feet are like ice blocks and my hands aren't better, much better. But it's um, <clears throat> sort of a little bit quiet. They're just static, sunning themselves, warming themselves up. And, uh, Things come close for quite a while.
a youngster there in the back just pegging away. There's another, another five or six buzzards around the edge here of the frame. Absolutely fantastic. There's some, some kill along the field there. Um, buzzards mewing all over the place now. It's going to be a challenge, I think, in a minute. she's finished and she's had her fill. She'll have to go off and sit and digest it, but I think the spoil's left. I think it's going to be a massive free-for-all. Um, but yeah, it's gone very quiet now. Such a stroke of luck. We do a lot of shooting out on these fields. And, um,
possibly the juvenile from this adult male and female from last year. Everything else is keeping well away from these guys.
feel for them. This bird's pretty much had the whole pigeon to itself. Must have been really hungry. Always good in situations like this just to keep your eye on the behaviour because you could just miss something crucial. A few action shots, it's um, always nice. It's getting rather close here. The little male is um, actually getting some food now, getting some scraps off the other, so that could very well be. It's difficult to tell with so many buzzards if that's its um, partner or not, but uh, yeah, it's got to be nearly finished now. It's uh, well and truly really stuffed itself, its crop's going to be massively full. This has probably been one of the best encounters with her buzzard I've ever had. Um, fantastic really. You can certainly tell the buzzards making most of it because I've seen them on kills before and they eat a fair amount and then they just leave it for something else to have a go at. But this female's been on it for ages. Um, absolutely stripping the bones a lot. Nothing goes to waste by the looks of it. There's still other buzzards flying around. They're all around me, actually. Got three out to my left. I've got the two in front, there's one behind, and there's at least five out to my right. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. guys that uh, pretty much concludes the the vlog for today um it's been about eight hours in hide this morning and this afternoon and it's been phenomenal um i really don't think i've had a better session with buzzards ever um it's been 
great. I've just done the last count. 23 buzzards in one field. It's just crazy. Um, they're still moving just outside the hide. Um, but yeah, absolutely superb guys. I really hope you enjoy um, some of the images I've captured today. I've taken a significant amount, probably over 500 at least. And um, also quite a bit of video as well. Obviously guys, bear in mind as the video is, is uh, full HD at 30, so the quality isn't what it usually is like um, when I'm doing 4K um, at uh, 60. Uh, and also full HD at 60 as well, and a lot of the slow-mo stuff. But uh, yeah, really has been an awesome day. Weather's been great, can't feel my feet. Um, but now I've got to head back and uh, yeah, download some images. But uh, yeah, thanks for coming along with me, guys, um, for my second vlog of uh, 2022. And uh, for those that have uh, tried the channel for the first time and like what they see, um, maybe consider subscribing to the channel. Um, lots more coming up, hopefully all being well. But uh, as always, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time. Well, looking at the feathers at the moment, it looks like this could have been a wood pigeon. Um, well, we've absolutely hammered that. Literally hardly anything left. My God, they stripped it. Absolutely stripped it. A stroke of luck.